the random you will have to import all the things right like random or else you can write simply from random you can import directly the asterisk which, which says to import every other functions and all the things which come in the random okay so with this like line you can write up this or otherwise you can write the first line above one okay so uh, uh, what is the difference between the two things right you know right if i write import random or uh, if i write from random import as text like if from random import everything what is the difference between those things no right hmm? We're importing only one element in the first one mm -hmm. and we can import everything whatever it is there in the function okay fine so let's say if i'm running this right so if i want to write a rand range of a range of 2 to 30 how should i write then import random mm, done done that's done the first line that has been done random drop random range 20 comma 30. random dot dot range okay right yes so what's the problem now yes can you justify what's the problem is it the code oh, yeah how do i simply write the rand range of what is that 2 to 30 i'm getting that see uh, what happens like the very next line or uh, you can say the last line works when you go with this kind of things right like if i say that my x is equals to 20 okay now what is the problem here i'll let you know right uh rand range of yeah that's nice so if x is 20 y is equals to 30 if i say x right and then i say y so what is the, uh, the output i'm going to get 20 and then next time 30 okay that's that's the issue only 30 you'll get okay you will not be getting x you, because when you are not writing print what happens only the last line whatever it is will be getting as your output okay so like if you want also the x then you will have to write print x now now when you run this you will get 20 and 30 both okay so same case here right what you have done you have imported random here right in the next line what you have done from random import everything right so if you are doing from random import everything then this is not going to work right so you cannot write random and then dot rand range and all okay you can simply write rand range because rand range is one of the function of this random right so you have imported everything from the random so why to write again random dot rand range got it yes sir you can simply write rand range you can run this to get the output okay so in many of the cases like you know uh, when you work with some modules or functions every time all the functions are not required right like why we write maths.sqrt why we always write like import maths and then maths.sqrt of the, like some number 25 or whatever you say to getting out there we can simply write that from math only import this sqrt that's it and then we can just write square root of 5, uh, 25 to get the answer right that's a use of the modules okay all right so i think uh, we have discussed like in the data science class the rand range and rand int and all right again let's discuss see how range works range have three parameters first is start whatever you give the number over there and then you have stop and then you have the step step is like number of intervals not number of intervals like the stepping value you can say on the interval value you can say on there right so this works in the three uh, three of the parameters 
so like if you say a uh, range of 0 to 30 with the intervals of 2 right so what this means that you will be getting numbers from 0 with the intervals of 2 right 0 and all right so this is a range okay which goes like this so if i write only a range of 30 what is the output what is what does this mean what is the starting number from 0 yeah so it will be range of 0 to 30 right that's nice okay fine so that is clear to you so if i say that only from random so i'm not going to write it again because i have imported everything so if i say rand int of 30 what is that okay something interesting so rand and missing one position arguments p oops okay like one number is missing it cannot be like such like a range because this not works like a range okay this works as like one integer uh, value you have to give it like starting and stopping number and this will give you a random of that uh, intervals okay like 3 to 30 and you can even get the maximum of this like the 30 will also be getting so in uh, case of rand int what happens you will get the numbers even right uh, in case of uh, choices no have you uh, worked with the choices in the college no sir Uh, 20. Let's see if it works. Positional arguments. Okay. Uh, choices is having. One second. What is the problem there? Random. Yes, choices. Choices. C, C. Uh, parameters mm -hmm. examples yeah this. okay uh, see how it works actually it's not working somewhere here so let's discuss with this okay uh, and so you know something right now about numpy so let's discuss with this that uh, uh, no 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 uh, from numpy import random numpy dot rand range np dot and yeah that works so if i say np dot random dot choices okay and two three four let's say right and th these are the probabilities i'm making 0 0.3 0 0.3 and 0 0.1 okay and then I say size is equals to 100. Let's run this. Uh, this problem choice. It's, it's choice and choices. <laughs> okay, okay. The value is not 339. 1.0 that's 10 yeah so it's fine probabilities do not sum to 1 why oh so, 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 so. all right see uh what are you getting here an array right also numbers 2 3 and 4 you can get you can see that right 2 3 and 4 numbers uh but the size is 100 right you have got 100 elements like at the random state okay but it is not like uh, when you say a ran what happens when you say a random uh, like np dot and array and uh, let's say arrange okay not array let's say arrange and uh, let's say from 2 to 10 right so what do you get a series of number like right? starting from 2 ending at make 1 minus right that's 9 so 2 to 9 so here what do you have given that 2 3 and 4 okay you want random numbers but only with two three and four only with three numbers okay and you have given the probabilities or you can say the percentages right so 0 0.3 percent uh, that's exactly like 30 percent 60 percent and 10 percent that should be equals to one 
right so i was getting an error when i did this three that probabilities do not sum to one okay so you should like keep in mind that uh, whatever the number you are using when you give their probabilities that uh, 2 is to be uh, printed for 0 0.3 times that is 30 percent or like you can uh, you can get it like in terms of probabilities how we did 0 or 1 okay so this should be 0 0.3 this should be 0 0.3 and this should be 0 0.1 so what is the problem here that 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 is 0 0.6 plus 0 0.1 is 0 0.7 we are missing with 0 0.3 okay that is it being uh, described the value error probabilities do not sum to 1 so you should make it uh, total one right the sum to uh, this total sum should come as one okay so if i make it six so six three nine and plus one ten and you can even make it like 2d 3d whatever you have learned in the numpy right uh, like uh, if this is 10 then we can make it uh, uh, 2 cross 50 or uh, 25 cross 4 4 cross 25 and we can make it like our own choices right so so these are the things so if you go with the first one zero we'll be getting only these numbers and such like that okay so this is the working of choices right got it how it works yes, sir. so you give your particular number and you give the probabilities even and a lot of things are there right uh, if you go with the health uh, not health info and you can give np dot if i get some functions for this uh, is this there yeah so see you can even give the characters right one two three it's not only with the numbers whatever you make <clears throat> you give the probability sorry you give the probabilities over there and that will be done right so what are you are getting like only five and three but the probabilities are 0 0.1, 0, 0 0.3, 0 0.6 and 0. Total should be 1. It's not like, okay. So, like it will, uh, sometimes it will also raise your error. Because if there are total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 probabilities, like uh, if you are making something wrong, like if you are making 0 0.2, 0 0.3, something error. So, it is it will be greater than the number you have taken. So, sometimes you will not get even an output, right. So, this is the working of... Uh, like random one okay okay fine now uh, you must be aware like if i write rand int of one two three four five six with nine eight seven six five four right so six six digits coming up as one particular otb all right so if i say this uh, let's say something g it's a very uh, easy one right uh, concatenate of should mention this inside the string and what is this a code right easy one what do you get there in your mobile phone so now, working with a random one uh, many a times you even get a uh, like a bank pin uh, like uh, whatever your uh, account number consists of you get a random pin between that numbers hey right? you get a random pin of that numbers right like if your account number is something like 0987654323456 let's say something like this okay that's a small number yeah now it's okay <clears throat> what is the length okay i will not get the length of this so let's say this is your account number right so what are the numbers it consists majorly from 2 to 9 right all the numbers from 2 to 9 uh is it all 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and yeah yeah so 2 to 9 right so you can possibly get an uh, pin from 2 to 8 repeating up like how if i say uh let's tell this if i say np dot random dot choice yeah go on how should we write I should be right two three four five six seven eight nine like this all these numbers two comma nine two comma nine so only two comma nine will not work see uh, what choice does you you give your numbers it will not take ranges okay you define what numbers you want and then you will be getting that output so if I say now P should be equals to so if i only write 0 
right? So 2 for 0 0.2 times 0 0.3 for 3, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? 1, 2, 3, done. And one more, 0 0.26. Okay, that's being 1 now. So 6, 3, 9, no, 4, 4, 3, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, now it's okay. 0.1. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right? And now let's say size 4. So what are you getting? Array of 7, 2, 2, 7. So this could be your pin. Right? A random state 7333 so whatever the percentage you give from your account number right uh, like uh, it will take a uh, like uh, sum of numbers or uh, like common numbers whatever the series that follows for whatever the bank system it is right so it will take something from there and will give you an account pin right and then that you can even change up there like you, you obviously change that right so that is like somewhere it works accordingly and uh, meanwhile like uh, I'm going to show you one project right now uh, where it is one second. so this is something projects yeah so you, you see this project right this is like working with a data set okay I'll let you know today that how to work with data sets. Uh, not not today. Today we'll go with the mathematics, okay. data science one. And this is like some of the things being referred. To. One very easy project, right? I'll give this you the codes to like go on that how you go. This is like a bank project working, ATM working. How you go with that? Okay. Uh, one more is there. One second. Is eighteen working? And banking. Banking is it? Uh, yeah. See. So data set is there, like okay. So data set will have account number, pin, name, branch name, branch number, and all. This is all you can create up by your own, right? Uh, I'll let you know how to create this all. Okay. So uh, this is like working as a uh, this project has done right all those things and see uh, how exactly you get so login page should have all these codes like what, whatever you do right so like from the data uh, data names like data set you take the name first of all right and then you convert it in lower all the basic things whatever we learn and then we create some uh, like uh, formats of how we are going to get and like i'll show you the output first of all so this is like the output running uh, whatever the bank name is you can write up this is something like when you download a pdf of your transaction you could see like it is something like this name okay you can make things anywhere so can proceed to the next steps and all a lot of things are there and that's it right so it's going there choose your option five options to define you can give your option why date and time to be there that's why i said to learn how date and time is important okay account number pen name branch name branch number and all those things right that can be given so you are going to make this project uh, that's fine i'll give you this code okay all right so these are the things how to write and to go through all those things we'll give you okay Fine, uh, let's come back to our, our thing. So, what's going in the college right now? So, sets. Sets is going? Fine, good. Okay, so that is working off uh, a random range. Okay, now how how we get the things actually, right? Let's say that if you are, if you are generating any pin, let's say, okay, you are, you are generating any pin, and let's say this is the pin okay you got a pin currently and you have been asking from the user let's say this is going to be uh, sent to the user right now okay so your screen is not visible uh, one second sorry
Okay. Oops. Yeah. So I think it stopped sharing. Hmm. So let's say this is a code, right? You are asking a user uh, give an input, right? Like input. Enter. Pin. Okay. So how user will give? How user will get the pin? You should write something to get the pin, right? So whatever it will be coming. Now, if the user or if uh, yeah, if your outcome, let's let's store this x is equal equals to x, then what we are going to do is uh, make welcome or whatever it is required. Okay. Now. Uh, and the rest is like if it is not equal, let's up. Right, simple. Uh, wrong OTP. Something like that, right? So if I run this, I'll get an uh, error. Why? Because I don't know what's the pin. Do I know? No. How, how can I know? I haven't printed the pin right now here. Okay. Like in case uh, I get in my mobile phone, so that's fine, right? But now, uh, let's enter anything wrong OTP right so let's do one thing let's print this here uh, but still I'll be getting an error 566375 wrong OTP why answer quick I think I have entered correct yeah so why I got the error it's very basic uh, difference identify Print spelling is wrong, I think, for that. Hmm? The print. Print spelling, spelling is wrong? One second. It should not work when it is wrong. No, it's correct. P R I N T. No, in the welcome, sir. Uh, okay, here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 257457. 257457. Wrong OTP. So, what you can identify that? the uh, you can say the condition is not going in this one right condition is not even going in this that's why we are not getting this output so why the condition is not going in this uh, if because this is not equals to this why this is not equals to this because this is an integer and this is the input we are taking in a string format that's <laughs> basic difference right so you should convert this in integer first of all why because the random see what you are doing random integer and that's an integer random uh, like give you an integer format right so you should convert this in an integer first of all when you run this 518642 518642 enter welcome that's it okay so you should like have a very uh, good you can say site okay that's it, that should be working up got it okay fine so let's move up okay Simply uh, coming back to the uh, list has been done. List and tuples. List is done, sir. Tuples is not started. The tuples are very short uh, topic actually. There okay. is only After set, we go to dictionary. So list is done. Yeah. Okay, fine. So tell me, what is list? Yes. So what has? What is the list? Quick, quick, quick. Let's pop some arrows. Arrows. Where is Nishita? Yeah, Nishita, what is list? Set of numbers. Set of numbers is list. Then what is set? It's also a set of numbers. Why uh, I uh, uh, can I not keep that uh, set of uh, words in a list? We can sir. So why we say that uh, it is a set of numbers? If I write this as x is equals to 
what is this okay one second delete yeah so if i say x is equals to a b c it, if i go to see the type of x is this not the list this is also a list so what is the list basically what is that i can keep numbers i can keep uh, strings i can keep anything else like true false all those things so what can be that list values uh -huh. what, what you said collection of some values or strings collection of some values or strings okay fine values you mean like uh, something two three four these are the values 5.6 and all right these are the values okay so you said collection of values and strings so strings are there values are there okay now if i write is this part yeah okay uh, yeah so if i write true this is not a value is this a value or if i make one more list this is not a value but still i am getting this as a list see guys uh, the very basic definition what you are, what you are seeing here string you are seeing integer you are seeing float you are seeing boolean you are seeing one more list even you can see even a dictionary k we oh that's something wrong format kv right so uh, remember a list is a kind of a collection of heterogeneous data types got it not values heterogeneous data types okay so you can keep any data type in a list not only the values or not only the numbers okay nishita that is not only the numbers you can keep any data type in a list right you can even make duplicate data types so here right duplicate means that if once abc is there you can again make a you can again make b you can again make c and all right so elements we say in there right elements can be duplicated you can keep um, uh, yeah, duplicates in right there okay so that is list so what we say a collection of heterogeneous data types okay yeah that's it and it's immutable right this might be taught right immutable no sir oh okay what's immutable uh, exactly means that you can edit this when you will learn tup tuples then you will learn that tuples are one second um getting something wrong something is getting yeah these are mutable these are mutable sorry you can edit this right immutable means that you cannot edit that right you cannot make changes right can you make changes in a tuple okay you you haven't uh, uh, discussed tuples in a college right so uh, mutable means that you can change it is liable to change right you can change this change in the sense like if i say x these are the things in x if i say x of uh, 5 what is that 4 so i can say x of 5 equals to 5 now what is x x of 5 is 5 see in place of 4 it's 5 it is 5 right but if i say x is equals to tuple of x <coughs> sorry if I say x is equals to tuple of x, <clears throat> what is the x of 5? It's 5. And now if I say x of 5 is equals to 10, it, that is not possible because tuple does not support item assignments. Right. As all these are very uh, good things, I right? will work on later. So the basic difference of a list is that this is a collection of heterogeneous data types and these are mutable. Okay. So when you are taught in the class, guys, ask teachers everything. Okay. Because these are the very basic concepts, right? You are like, uh, when you will be asked, what is it? Okay, you are learning set. What is a set? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can say it easily, right? I'm not going to give you any 
things, right? So what is it? Don't say a set of numbers. Okay, Punita Nishita. <laughs> you say yeah. quick, easy, it's easy. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, Googling? No, sir. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, this uh, thing, what you are doing in the set, what is uh, common in set and list? Nothing is common. We what is values? Uh, values are okay in values. No, no, don't go with the values. Yeah, what are you saying? See, what is uncommon? What is the basic difference between a set and a list? Is it set is a um, combination of homogeneous data types? Homogeneous data types? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. You can keep number string and all. Is that? Let's see. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's missing. Four, five. Where is three? Oh, missing three. Three, four, five. A, B. Uh, let's run this. Hmm. So I don't think this is an homogeneous. Can you see this? It's heterogeneous. See, the only difference is if this is a list, right? If this is a list uh, with the same things. The bracket is different. Bracket is different. Wow. Great. <laughs> bracket is this way. Good. Very good. Uh, okay. I've got something new. Right. So we can make one more changes in this. Brackets are different in data types. Obviously, that will be different because these are different data types. All right, see. Uh, <clears throat> if I add one here, and if I add one here, and if I run this, what's the changes? Uh, there is one again, and there is no one. So you can see the change. N set elements are not going to repeat if it is one declared or if it is one written inside that it is not going to repeat it elements it is not going to duplicate it elements okay but it can be done in case of tuples in case in case of dictionaries uh, okay uh, sorry in case of dictionaries you can repeat the values not the keys right that's the okay, thing important and such things can be done easily right so uh, till where you have reached in the set, which function is going on? Starting, sir. Starting. So, tomorrow Starting. ask your professor, sir, what is uh, the... Okay, so, he, uh, is, is he male or female? Like, is she your <laughs> male, right? So, you can easily ask. So, you can ask, right? So, what is exactly... So, did I say the, about the definition of set? No. Oh no, it just told he will start set. Okay, he will start set. So, didn't he say the definition of list? He said so. Okay, so you guys were playing it. <laughs> okay, fine, see. Right, so let's go with the list, right? So, list is a collection of heterogeneous data types where the elements even can be duplicated. So, how many functions you did with the list? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, quickly, let me, uh, okay, you give me the function name, whatever you did in the list. Quick, uh, let me write something that must be done. Append. Yes, sir. Insert. Insert, very good. Uh, pop. Hmm? Pop, P, O, P. Top. No, P, P. P, O, P. Okay, pop. Oh, what are yeah. I? What I heard, doc, what is that? Yeah, go. So. I don't know whether it's delete or remove. 
Okay, you don't know whether it's delete or remove. It's both. I don't want to use Go with the remove. Yeah, next. One more thought. One more, only five. Yeah, only five. Whoa. Great. Yeah, one more what? Insert, append, pop, remove. Okay, I can now understand you guys are learning Python. It's only with a uh, concept of <laughs> giving examination. That's it. See, these are very basic data types and these are to be learned in very uh, huge amount, right? Uh, like, uh, less, these data types are... See, when we are learning any programming language, what is important? Data type. If you don't know the data type, how you are going to deal with it? Like uh, in NumPy arrays also, you see, when you see this arrays, what, what you see up there, where it is, yeah. You see, lists are there. And that is being converted into arrays, that is another matter. But there are lists, right? And this whole list is converted into an array. But the brackets is of a tuple, right? So there are a lot of things to discuss. Uh, like in the data science will be going up when we'll start pandas. Okay. I I think that's extend No reverse 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 great. Okay, so you might be getting one question of I reverse in examination. That's why you must have taught you reverse <laughs> How to and reverse a list. Count. Yeah, one one more what? Count. Count great yeah. Okay, now let me uh, tell you how many more functions are there. There is something called as extend. There is something called as index. There is sort and a lot. How? Let's see. You can quickly write help. Okay, you do one thing. Whenever your source says that he is going to teach you this topic, what you do? Go to the Jupyter, write help, write that particular data type name or whatever it is. Run this and see all the things over there right so if he skips anything ask him right that, that's your point right so there is append there is clear that is copy count extend index insert pop remove reverse sort and many more are there right you will not get anywhere else right a lot of functions are there okay so let's go with all these so all these are also the functions ask him to say uh, like okay okay fine let's go so see, this is uh, iterable, mutable, no arguments, and I'll go leave this, right? So let's start the very basic, let's say I'm having a list of numbers. And these are 23, 45, 67, 89, 12, 23, oh, sorry, 12, that's it. Five numbers, okay? What is invalid? Okay. Now, uh, the very basic uh, one that is, you say it append. What append does? Uh, it will uh, add a number last. Add a number. That's again a wrong statement. Again, say what append does? It add a data type. Uh, no, no, no. Don't say add a data type. See? Say, see. Okay. Now, you, uh, you will go to like, if you go something like if you go with this preparation to any company and you say like will not going to ask you something questions like this but if you ask something like this what do you say it add a data type it will reject you in that place only so how it will add a data type what is the working of append if you only say it adds something that's it <laughs> that's it also okay but you say uh, it will add a data type that is wrong if you say it will add a number, then he'll say, I didn't say that I'm making a numbers list. So it adds an element. That's it. Okay. Element can be anything. Numbers, string, whatever you want. Okay. So append adds an element. Where it adds? Last index. Last index. Uh, that is at the end of the list. Okay. So if I say num.append and 2343 whatever you want and this see your num and this being 23 45 67 now okay five that is working of epic 
now let's see that if so append one more definition for append that it only takes one single element right to add up right you can write it as help of list dot append so it append object to the end of the list and it only takes one input one input right i cannot write like num dot append 23 45 that will be an error because it exactly takes one argument and you gave two that's a problem right so uh, like if i'm having a list of numbers and i want to add five more numbers so should i always write num um, append 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 and append for five times no i should also have an alternative option so that alternative option is called as extend you don't run like this right that also takes one argument what you can do is you can make a list here like this so a list of more numbers you want okay you don't want a list you want a list of numbers see the difference run this see your num you will get 23 and 45 again right so now you must be having query that so we can also write uh, like append and then we can write a list of numbers that also takes one argument right that can be done if i write append list of numbers 45 67 that can be done yeah, right no errors right that is done but now what will be the difference you will see a list again got it if you want to add individual numbers you can use extend that is meant for basically like if you want more than one numbers to be inserted in a list you can use extend method okay when you want one number you can easily use append but don't use uh, append while inserting more than one right uh, multi numbers you can say like multi elements basically okay got understand what is the difference Yes, sir. Cool. Fine. Okay. Uh, the next is I think uh, insert, right? Now, let's say like uh, if you have been given to insert in some specific location, so you can easily give dot insert and then give the position. Let's say first position. So whatever you want. Twelve. See num. Twelve is there. Okay. so you should focus like on the very basic things because that is important all right insert done append done extend done right it's come to remove so remove the last element i can easily write pop to remove the last element 45 67 should be gone right because that is the last because that is the complete one if you can see one list and that is being removed so i am not going to print it again so pop remove the last element automatically whatever it is if i say remove you can remove something 12 see your num 12 will be removed okay now i can see 323 over there right so i can count num dot count 23 so three counts like 323 are there okay now in which places these are so if you say num dot index of 23 what is the output you are going to get yeah output zero zero okay right five six no 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 only zero See why? Because I said you that uh, whenever you will be dealing with a tuple or any string or any list, the very first element will be the index uh, representative. Okay, like whenever you run for uh, searching for the index of any uh, like more than one number, if it is there, right? So when you go for finding the index, what happens? 
the very first element whatever it is you will be only getting the index of that number that's it okay so how to get now so this can be a problem right because uh, if i want to find every index of that number how can i find so i can easily say that np dot where that's why we learn data science it's important where so np dot where this array of now okay is equal equals 23 so these are the places 0 5 and 6 that's easy right can use where of this numpy module to get anything right there okay we'll go on it further okay fine okay so this is the usage like of index you might have done count you might have done remove done pop done insert done append done extend done right next going up okay what is left there yeah something Sorry. like you can go with max yeah are you saying something sort sir. sort yeah sort and reverse is left so np dot sort no oh, sorry sorry why i'm using np uh, num dot sort see done was it sorted no okay now how to reverse num dot reverse num dot reverse so that's done any alternative method got it what is this not taught what is this okay fine see this is nothing but the range starting from one go till two okay and go with the intervals of three okay see what is my num this is my num okay so in the num if i say start from one start from one go till two so whenever working in range what happens minus one of this two minus one one so go with one stop at one and go with the intervals of three so only 67 will come right confused didn't get so mm, i knew okay uh let's say starting from one going till five or going till six okay so it is starting from one that is 67 right going till 6 that is 5 okay when you say something range of see range of numbers 1 to 6 to 3 something like this this is exactly that right 1 to 6 means 1 to 5 with the intervals of 3 so 1 to 5 means 1 2 3 4 5 with the intervals of 3 that means 67 then 2, then 3, and then 23, then 2, then 3, that's been done, right? Again 67 will come, again 23 will come, and it will go like this. So, elements only are 63 and, sorry, 67 and 23. Got it or again confusion? Should I repeat? Got it, sir. Right, so if you go with intervals of 2, that will be something different. 63, uh, sorry, 67, 45. One this 45 and then 23 again it will go something like this okay so that's what exactly i did here what i said start from nothing uh, sorry starts from the basic that is from the beginning right zero start from zero end at last okay that is being the three one one gap one gap and then the last so interval is minus one minus one means backward counting right so start from the first beginning stop at the last and go with the backward counting 
So if I go with the backward counting, obviously I'm going to reverse this all, right? So all this will be coming in the backward counting. This will be coming here, this, there, 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 and all will go with minus one, right? So whenever you want to reverse anything, you can use this in numpy, in set, in dictionary, everywhere it works, okay? Minus one. If you go with a minus two, that will be something different, right? Then it will be like 12, okay, 23, 45, from backward counting with the intervals of 2, okay? If it is 1, then from the backward intervals of 1, and that's the thing, okay? What is left? I think that's there. Copy, clear, okay, see, you have num, right, so if I say uh, n equals num dot copy, and uh, let's say that I have a list of songs, right, so of some artist, ar, as, yeah. empty okay so like these are okay let's elaborate this cool That's it. Right, so these are the uh, like some of my favorite singers. Okay, now if I see that these are the list of my singers, right? So if I say that my brother uh, is having, or like some of my friend is having also interest on some of these, some of these, not everyone, right? Some of these singers, like let's say. Arijit and Amal, right? Arijit and Amal. So, uh, how I'm going to S I N G H, I think. Let's say if some of my friend, let's say Mandy, right? So, how I'm going to give the uh, names, right? Not by writing, not by writing. How can I assign that things? Like Arijit and Amal. How can I write? Get my question or not? I want. Yes, yeah. So, how can I make this there? Quick. The songs are copy. Yeah. What do you say? Uh, yeah. So, when I, when I copy, what happened? Everything will be copied, right? I don't want everything. Only want Arijit and Amal. Copy of that array. Array? Where is the array? This it's is a list. One. Copy of that. Okay, okay, okay. See, if I do copy, what happens? So, if I say that my friend also loves to uh, listen songs of all these, then I can make a copy. But, like, he don't have any interest on, like, say, this or this. Only these two he has the interest, right? So, I can make a list of songs of the one and two, something like this. Oh, sorry. One, two, three. Like this, okay? I can make a list of all this. If I say one, two, three, what is this? From one, two, two. Got it. This is one, this yes, is two, sir. that's it. Done. One, two, three. So if I see Mandy, what is that? Having a list of Arijit Singh and Amal Malik, that's it. I can also make it like songs of one plus songs of two. M C 
uh, but there will be something uh, different kind of things right that will be uh, one uh, string plus one string and that will be there right because if i if i say songs of one what is that the element value right element value that is a string as you think right and then you are adding with another string so obviously we will be getting something like this right so that's it right so two ways are there still you can make it there like something like this and all okay so you can make for like individual listing you can use indexing and all right another what thing you can use minus 2 minus 3 okay okay fine and when you want to copy you can easily say c equals mandy dot copy copy will be done oops i have made one error okay so that's your c right and you want to clear so clear is for clearance you can now see empty list now if it is empty i can delete this delete c that's been done so c is not defined right now because it has been deleted okay so that's been the things so this is the working of a list okay let's go with the tuples so lists have its own functionalities and a lot of things are there in the list when you split a string it goes in a list right when you work with a lot of things it goes in a list uh, various things are there for lists uh, okay okay let's go forward oh, day seven is not there i think day eight should start with that where is that file once again So tuples. Uh, tuples are also a uh, collection of heterogeneous types, right? Same, but the only difference is that lists are mutable and tuples are not mutable, right? Uh, and these are written in force brackets, obviously, right? Uh, lists are written in square brackets. Now, why I say these are immutable means that you cannot edit and you have seen right there right but there are ways you can edit that right not with the tuple you can convert it in list and then you can edit it let's say if i uh, say that my num is going to be a tuple i'm not making it i'm just writing a tuple of num right so now num is converted in a tuple you can see the difference okay everything is safe right uh a tuple have only two functionalities right one is index and one is count that's it because you cannot edit then uh, what is that fun functions and all right you cannot remove you cannot add so it's not of any use right right uh, when you like uh, with the perspective of editing purpose right it's not of any use but it is of very uh, much usage right very much usage when you are taking input right when you are taking input okay how let's take right it's a very funny example but it's okay right let's take you have taking a name input father's name let's copy this Date of birth. Give the format. Date. Month. Year. Okay. Gender. Take the end okay and then what more is there? like okay fine that's it right so i say from here i say dob and the gender to be a tuple i can see the difference why i'm only making this
and name and all let it be as it is so you can even make a set of name if you don't want anything to be repeated up and all you can make it easily right see what is my main focus is like let's run this uh let's run let's say anything and the father's name is that something like that yeah date of birth very well no, sorry nine uh let's take a thing it's seven okay uh, what is that okay that's okay in the gender right so it's main what i got the uh, too many values to unpack where is the data oh, 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 oh. Zero, nine, seven. Right. So if I see my uh, all these name, if name, D O B, and Jen, I can see the difference here. Mandy just breathe. Zero nine hyphen zero seven hyphen one nine nine six and M A L E and the space even because I have used the space also, right? Now what is the difference between these two and these two? See the difference is that you have taken inputs in the string. Right, you have taken input in the string, and what you have done then, you have converted these in the tuples. So your individual characters are being added in a tuple, like uh, being shattered, like separated, and then being added as a tuple. So if in a tuple, if I say Mandy is equals to male. If you want to make a tuple with one single element, you should use comma. Otherwise, it will be a string. Okay, so comma. So if I say Mandy, if you can see the tuple type, that's a tuple, right? So if I say Mandy is a male, can I make this? Can I can I say that after ten years he will be female? Something like that? No. No sir. If might it will be done, so that's it. Another thing. <laughs> so, uh, if this is male, right? So the purpose is only like uh, if you write something in a tuple that cannot be edited again. So if I say Mandy, Mandy has changed to female, right? If it is, it will be. <laughs> Let's say female. Sometimes, okay. So now. I have even like changed it, like because uh, I am now assigning it that this is female. So if I say Mandy, so I have overplaced that. That's another thing, right? But if this is a variable, right? If this is a variable, I am getting the things over there. So if I say Mandy dot add or anything, right? Not add dot replace. So Mandy of zero is male. If I say That this guy has changed to female. Run this. No, no not possible. You say delete. Uh, delete is there, right? So delete Mandy of zero. No, copy, count. That can be done. Index can be done. Okay. So whatever once you write in a tuple, that will be kept right. That will be kept forever. Okay. You cannot replace. You cannot edit and all. Okay, so that's a tuple. Very limited functions are there. 
so like in the num we could see it's a tuple right so if i say num dot count 23 okay done num dot index of 23 done no other functions if we could see help of tuple no other functions is there yeah where it is where it is yeah count and index that's it so that's why i think he is not teaching you tuples because there is nothing to teach tuples are very small things yeah but questions comes from there question comes from there okay you can see sir can you just repeat why you give comma after that mail ah uh, yeah see like if you have one number n is equals to good question 12 okay now what is the type of this n integer integer good now to make it a tuple what tuple says multiple value assignments in first packet so if even i am not assigning multiple uh, uh, elements i can give a comma so i mean to say that i have assigned multiple elements that is there are more than one element even it if it is a nan number even if it is a nan type of n is a tuple n is a nan not a number even even if you don't write anything if you give a number if you give a comma that will be a tuple otherwise that will be an integer right and in that case you will not be there like if you have a tuple and you want to add 12 to this nan plus 12 you cannot do because you can only add a tuple with a tuple right so what you can do is you can add n here because n is a tuple or you can add directly 12 giving as a comma that can be done and now if you want to remove this no no outputs for that if you see num right so here what you see only that output what you printed now if you want to store this then you can store otherwise you will only get the output as like it will not be stored right now if you want to edit it what you can do you can say this as a list of num so after all you convert a list and then you can <laughs> like going to change this all right so num dot remove or like pop that's that will work pop last element remove then again converting num into a tuple of num and then printing the num to get the output and let's see the magic see 12 has been removed cool okay so ultimately like you have to convert first of all and then you have to go on with that things okay that's being the work of tuples over here so i like uh, that are like good things okay so you can go uh, like in the list you can go with the loops and all a lot of things are there okay coming to the sets now okay sets coming up yeah so uh, you are you are not started with sets in the college right no sir okay so sets are a collection of unordered heterogeneous data where the elements are written in curly braces and cannot be duplicated now what is a new term come, came here right that is unordered elements unordered means if i say that x is equals to a g f c h so right so if i say print this x what you see a c f g h order has been changed in which order it is ascending ascending always in a set it is ascending order but you will only be said that every time when where, wherever you learn wherever you learn this from wherever you see you will only see that sets are a collection of unordered data 
so these are ordered in ascending order why we say unordered because whatever we write it is not always that we will be getting the same output so if i say y is equals to 23 12 90 56 what is y 12 23 56 90 right so like uh, whenever your professor will be starting this uh, like this what like what he says he might say right but uh, like from my experience i can say mostly mostly uh, like whatever the students i have been with till now like nobody says that this is something in ascending order even if they see they never ask so why this is coming in ascending order because sets are ordered in ascending order this is not something like uh, we can just say uh, sets are in collection of unordered heterogeneous data no the for bookish definitions you can go with this if you write these are ascending order you will be getting zero might be i didn't get but okay so you should write these are a collection of like if, if like writing for examinations you could go with like whatever it is written in the book right why to take risk over there but with practical knowledges you can say like these are collection of an unordered data which can be taken in ascending order right okay like you can see numbers strings whatever it is these are in ascending order all right but if you search what are set what is set okay let me see help of sets okay i think that's set it is set yeah see build an unordered collection of unique elements and this is also a very good definition okay a unordered collection of unique elements so in place of writing that build a collection of heterogeneous data types a collection of unordered heterogeneous data types where the elements are not repeated right so in place of that simply you can write build an unordered collection or you can write build an unordered collection of heterogeneous data types of unique elements unique element means yes what is the meaning of yeah no uh, repetition right so you can see even here it is written unordered collection and you have a lot of functions in set you have lot many 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 functions now unique is something this is not duplicated right but it is ordered you you have seen right that this is ordered but mostly whenever you will be uh, getting like uh, sets and all when we nobody actually cares like uh, if this is in ascending or descending you only see that okay order is not maintained it is unordered that's it so try to find like if it is unordered then in which order it is coming is it any random order is it descending order is it ascending order which order right when we were learning we were taught these are unordered data sets collection so when when we were doing practicals like i, I saw what is this okay unordered so uh, i i also like skip this okay this is unordered so but when uh, i just work like in which order it is so i found it it's, it's to be ascending so i thought like if it is unordered mostly like maybe uh, majorly it should come in ascending so sometime it should come in descending or any such order so i kept it doing for 50 times <laughs> running one same line for 50 times i got same output for 50 given times i i made a loop for loop for thousand times saw the output it was same so i got to conclusion that okay it is in ascending order not in any such order so i said to my professor this is ascending order why we write these as unordered said that's bookish language you have to follow are you okay that's fine so i made a conclusion that this is ascending okay but when we write we said 
it's unordered that's it but these are ordered in ascending whatever you write that comes in ascending order okay if you write ascending that's okay if you don't write then obviously it is going to be different all right so coming up with the very first method is uh, i think add okay fine now let's take something here so it can take different data types also uh, let's say what to take i give an example what to take uh, okay tell me your college examples what you are taking and list and all what examples you are taking numbers or something like anything random oh. what was that okay uh, let's take we have some names or let's say we have some places right numbers and names of numbers and names cool so we have some places let's say it's delhi no delhi is also getting worst i have seen today in tv let's take uh, type two. let's take at the bar i think the spelling is wrong is it is the spelling wrong hi drama no i think okay let it be what it is uh mumbai no delhi not it's a jammu cool place uh, punjab okay four places are there right if you want to add one more place okay let's say i am going to have an india tour right and i am going to visit these places so raipur obviously i will not focus some from there so i can make tamil nadu it's a nice place okay so one two three four places i'm going to visit right directly from south to north all right so let's add one more place if i'm going to like uh, one more place to my list i can easily make places dot add one so jaipur okay and getting to the places will be giving jaipur now see now why we say it as unordered i added jaipur in the list if i add this it was supposed to be added at the last right yes many students have confusions that sir when we add this jaipur this is something called as unordered because this is uh, this is getting added anywhere so i again said okay go to the uh, like go through like the dictionary format what comes first h yeah, then j the and then it is having that ascending order still now so he, he like like one one student was there he like go, really he opened the dictionary and then he started okay j a i okay so that's like nice because i was having that i was making them confused i was like uh, using same words i think uh, from w or some x so it was like really impossible for them to go with that it was like xmas xylophones uh, a lot was there okay so like with one element you can use add for multiple elements place is dot yes what is that update okay you want to update this what is that called as set sorry set yeah so let's say update now let's go with some more places kashmir so what's the difference between update and extract hmm i'll update you run this see places what do you have seen u a h what is that oh, okay 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 update what it does like it add the or you can take like it it works exactly like extend got it if i could make a list here a set of numbers 
then it's okay. Let's say I can see Kashmir, I can see UK. Otherwise, if I don't make uh, this uh, set sign, right? So what happened? This Kashmir, every individual element has got added. See? S, R, M, I, H, A, U. And that will be in some unordered things. Okay? And why in unordered? But these are still in order, if you see. Right? Coming with capital and then with going with the lowers. If you see the order. Still in the order. Okay? Is it in the order or not? Yes, sir. Right? Okay. So, update has got something that. Okay? Like extend working. Alright, uh, next comes like uh, you have. So, but why is it uh, like hmm? separated? Separated. See. Uh, like, it have come like after Punjab. Hmm, I, I got it. What are you asking? See, uh, when I said that, what was that? Uh, okay, uh, we had some example of that in the previous. One second. Uh, in case of a list, is that there? Okay, let's go. See, uh, what happens that uh, if I use update method, right? So, update method, like if you have alphabets. Okay. Mm, unhashable type. So see. Order is still maintained B, D, F, H, A, C, E, G, right? Okay, fine. Going ahead. Now you're, uh, you're out, right? So let's say if I, I uh, add multiple elements over here. So I can use extend easily. Oh, sorry. Uh, what is that? Update. Update easily. And I can say I want to add C. I want to add uh, uh, L. I want to add F. I want to uh, like this all, right? Update. A, L. So that is being done, right? Individual elements. If you add individual elements, like one single, that is okay. But what if you add multiple? Multiple in the sense like, what if you add uh, DFG? Right? DFG. Run this. Run this. You will only find the difference with D. That's it. Any other difference has been there? No. Why DFG is not there? F is already present. Yeah, that's it. Because FG is also present, L is also present. Is not present. present. That will be updated. No, no, it, it's not like that. See, like if I say uh, A, okay, A is there. It's a QWE, QWZ. Okay, that is not there, right? Right, Q, QWZ. If I update this, I will get Q, W and Z separately. Why? Because we are not adding this as a list, as a set. We are adding this as an individual element. When we say this as a multiple elements, update is used to add multiple elements to a set. Indi not individual elements. When you don't give this set symbol, this will not be added. So when I go with this right now, I will get individual elements plus the elements what I wrote. Got it? Yes, sir. So that is being used. Like same, like if you say AL equals to a list of AL. Okay, alphabets were there, right? 
if I say al dot extend abc def how many a are there right now one only one right obviously only one will be there because it's like from the set set right so abc def obviously everything will be one 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 right so let's see run this extend uh oh okay fine right like this so see al what you see is there anything abc def now I can easily say like if I say count a it's going to be 2 right because individually it has been added but the same thing if I say add with this list symbol then this would be something different what is that see I think clear yes sir so that is how so whenever you use uh, yeah sorry i felt this is little tough to understand why is so it? it's a little bit confusing sir see it's like when you are using when you are adding elements with their uh, symbols like with their data type symbol like if it is a list use this when you are working with multiple elements okay if it is a set use this right otherwise it will be taken as an individual elements if you want to add multiple elements you can take it like that if you have a list of is it songs right now okay yeah. so if i say songs dot extend so if I want to add multiple elements, I can give up here like A, I can give B and I can get the songs there, there as A and B. Even if I say A, B, C, so I get it again A, B and A, C. Again I will get like after A, B, I am getting A and then B, C again. Okay. But what if I say without comma? What if I say A, B, C? only this like this without the sign of this right only i say abc or cde cde right you cannot give two because it only take one so cde now what should be the output after this c d and e respectively three right c c d and e but the same thing if you write inside the list run this you will get the output of the com complete cd there. cleared having doubt clear so right so don't make doubts with the basic otherwise you will have problems further so if you have doubt you just ask okay fine so the same goes with the set event right all right uh, next we'll continue tomorrow right